An Orlando man contacted Action 9 claiming he can't visit his family's crypts because of a disturbing leak at the mausoleum. Consumer investigator Todd Ulrich got answers from the cemetery owners and explains what consumers can do if their loved one's final resting place is not being maintained properly. I've teared up several times because especially Mother's Day. It was first Mother's Day with, without my mom. It's already been an emotional time for David Newbar since his mom died. Now he claims he can't even visit her final resting place entombed at this cemetery mausoleum. It's Mother's Day. We had turned mom a couple months ago and I came to pay my respects. To because of this, he showed us pictures of a thick green liquid that David claims is leaking onto the ground. He fears it could be decomposed human remains. Common sense you see an oozing coming out of a tomb. There is no way in hell you're going to step in it. My family is interned over there in the corner. David says two other family members have been entombed in this same structure for years. He first complained about the leakage in 2021. According to David, managers at Glen Haven Memorial Park promised results. Oh, we have a, an engineering firm in place. They're working on it. But David claims the leakage only got worse, so he asked the Florida Department of Health to investigate. Is it toxic? Um, is it human remain? Is there DNA in it? It's been well over a year. What's the holdup? That's why he contacted us. Family members who research mausoleums online can find general consumer advice that warns about maintenance issues that can involve casket odors and leakage. We took David's case to a cemetery and funeral expert. You know, the cemetery is not doing what they're supposed to do. Howard Beckham is a funeral services professor at Florida State College in Jacksonville. He could not say exactly what the green fluid is, but said it's a maintenance failure that must be corrected. Perpetual care means the cemetery care and maintenance funds, which are on deposit in Tallahassee, um, are there to take care of these things. Glen Haven Memorial Park is owned by Service Corporation International in Texas. I contacted the company and managers told me the 50 year old mausoleum has water intrusion and requires a civil engineer and specialty contractors and work should begin in the near future. David sending a complaint to state regulators. It's the worst I've ever seen it. In Florida, if you find a cemetery that's not properly maintained, contact the State Board of Funerals, Cemeteries, and Consumer Services. The agency can send an examiner for an on-site inspection. Todd Ulrich, Channel 9, Eyewitness News. Whatever it is, that's disturbing.